In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite match defenses and how it works against the meta offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And like I said in this video, we're going over the my favorite match defense in the game out of the Nickel 335 Odd. I've actually released a full defensive ebook on the Nickel 335 Odd. And in my opinion, it brings the best mix of coverage and pressure in the game. It's got phenomenal pressure in my opinion. It's got... Uh, great pressure from several different concepts in fact we actually break down in our defensive ebook a way that you can get pressure by only sending two people at the quarterback so this uh, this defense is super effective this year and this match defense in my personal opinion is one of the better ways that you can combat a lot of the gun bunch meta offense that we're seeing online and weekend league and in the competitive scene so uh, that being said let's dive into this video and we're going to show you how the cover Number six works out of the nickel 335 odd. Now our setup for this is actually relatively simple. We're only going to send three people at the quarterback, but what you're going to notice is about 90% of the time to 95% of the time, we're going to get instant pressure off the left edge just with a couple of simple adjustments. Now, what I like to do with this defense is I like to go ahead and press the coverage. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my defensive line. I'm going to spread my linebackers to the outside just like this. And then I'm going to crash my defensive line to the right, just like this right here. The following adjustments is I'm going to then reset my linebackers. I'm going to take this defensive end on the right side and I'm going to put him into a bluff blitz. You're going to notice that that puts him into a three rec hook zone. And then I'm going to take the middle linebacker, Levante David there, and I'm going to man him up onto the R1 receiver. It's really important that you man him up to the R1 receiver. Otherwise, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to get bombed. One little pro tip with this is you can actually leave this mid read. If you, if you want to put David into a mid read zone, you can leave him in a mid read unless they motion a receiver to the outside from the bunch. For whatever reason, there's a weird glitch in this game where when they, and I'll show it to you really quickly here. Um, whenever they motion out from the gun bunch, for whatever reason, if they run this setup out of verticals, it just completely glitches the match coverage out. The mid read does follow him but it doesn't always get back in time. Obviously you got incredible pressure as you saw right there, but the mid read does not always get back in time. So whenever they motion out, I personally recommend to go ahead and just man him up onto that slot receiver. That being said, let's continue to go through this coverage. And again, all we're gonna do, you can show blitz if you want to as well. The other reason, the, the benefit to showing blitz is what it does is it kind of brings your safeties a little bit more down into the box so they can be a little bit more aggressive in certain situations. Um, if you wanted to, you could even base the line and show blitz. Those are all options. But the primary adjustments, like I said, is to spread your line, spread your linebackers, reset your linebackers so that they come back to center. And then we get this nice little slip angle over here. That's more for the pressure side. From a coverage perspective, the only adjustments you're gonna make is put Golston into a bluff blitz and then take Levante David. And like I said, you could put him in whatever, you could put him in a mid read, a middle third. It doesn't matter to me. But if they motion out, my recommendation would be to go ahead and man him up onto the R1 receiver. But what you're going to notice in terms of how this works, and I personally like to go ahead and spotlight the R1 receiver as well, just to kind of help out some of the coverage concepts. But against something like a mesh post type setup, this is going to absolutely bag it. I mean, the post routes are no longer a problem. Um, the double post meta from Carolina, the mesh post concept, the, the, the cross or post, th those are not a problem for this defense to handle. And that's one of the main reasons why I like it so much. So again, all we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. We're then going to show blitz. You're going to see that it's going to go ahead and pinch these linebackers. You don't have to reset them if you show blitz. And then you're going to be able to do this right here. And like I said, now, the one thing I will go over real quick from verticals is if I streak the circle receiver, this is why I personally like to have this middle linebacker in a mid-read zone here. But if I streak that circle receiver, I uh, just want to show this real quick. You're going to see that he's going to get kind of that little glitchy uh, animation. So that right there is, a, is an example where I can say, you know what, you know, it might just be smarter to go ahead and just man this guy up against R1 
matter what because that little slip animation can be very problematic. Um, now you're going to see the same exact concept, but I'm going to show you what happens uh, when I do this adjustment. And what you're going to see here is now that deep quarter on that inside quarter takes him up the vertical seam. So that bomb is no longer an option, even just from a simple man up of one player. This is the beauty of kind of understanding how this concept works. Um, but anyways, let me show you real quick the pressure. Uh, that you're going to be able to create from this and this is really simple adjustments guys I mean you can do this relatively quickly uh, but the beauty of this is the pressure if you take a look at the left side you're going to see and we didn't quite get the pressure that time look at this uh this deep half I find that that deep half actually plays stuff because it's a match coverage deep half it's not a traditional deep half in the fact that they're just going to kind of drift and sit and watch they're going to actually react to the stuff in in real time so when they run something like a you know a gun bunch verticals uh, a gun bunch vertical setup you're gonna see that they're gonna react a little bit better so anyways let me show this real quick so again we're just gonna and I forgot I messed up my setup so that's fine but anyway you're gonna stand and what I would recommend is kind of standing like right in here with your user um, I find this is the best kind of position and I like to hold left trigger and right trigger um, just a quick little snap kind of wiggle to the left and you're gonna see you're gonna get instant pressure literally instant pressure and this is gonna force them to have to block their running back one of people's favorite tactics out of gun bunch real quick I just want to show this is to block their tight end that's like the way that most people like to pick up pressure the beauty of this blitz right here is that typically does not work so i'm going to block my tight end here i just want you to see this pressure you're going to see we're still going to come in completely clean the, the delay fade does nothing to combat this pressure so what they have to do is they have to block their running back. Well, if they block their running back, number one, that creates a lot of other problems. Um, though we do have pressures in our defensive guy that will come in against the block running back. I'm not gonna go over that in this video, but so they're gonna block their running back. Well, now look how much, look at the freedom that you have as a user. And you're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with your best defensive pass rusher against the running back, and you've got so much more freedom now with your user. Now, one little pro tip with this, in my personal opinion, um, one of the things that I would recommend people to do is to go ahead and if the if the running back likes to go like if they run something like verticals and they put the running back on an in route i like to just go with the running back we've got that r1 cross man and it's not, they're not gonna have a ton of time i personally in this defense like to just take the running back um that's just my personal thing um again if you don't want to do that that's fine but i would just caution you to maybe put some kind of thing maybe i don't know just do something to prevent that running back from going like if the running back goes on a quick route to the left or whatever that's an easy lurk but if the running back does this in route this in route in my opinion is one of the best things they can do but like i said it kills the pressure or the pressure will kill it so if you just run down like this you're going to get so much pressure and that crosser is really not a major thing in my opinion um there are ways that we can combat that with some different coverages for example we could take um dean and put him into an outside quarter zone and then we could you know take the safety and kind of rob him over the middle uh we, we could come out in a different package and put him into a you know a hook curl inside it doesn't matter uh what you i mean really you could even take this guy and man him up on the r1 receiver now you can drop your mid read and then you can have this coverage right here and this coverage right here fairly effective in my personal opinion um, and what you're going to see here let me just show you what the coverage looks like we just took the safety and manned him up instead of the linebacker we're still going to be sound if they you know run a bomb or whatever but now like if they run the verticals play now there's i mean literally you bag everything you're just going right here you're literally just going right here there's nothing there's nowhere for them to throw so this cover six concept is one of my favorite defensive plays uh in the game right now i think it creates a lot of conflict for trips formations so if you're defending trips tight end or you're defending gun bunch or you're defending u trips bunch tight end all of those are three wide receiver formations to one side of the field and so this defense to me is one of the best ways that you can combat the gun bunch meta offense but i really want to stress the importance of this one adjustment again make sure that what you're doing whenever you run this defense is that you man up that linebacker it doesn't have to be this linebacker but it has to be somebody um, who can take this guy so like for example you wouldn't man up your defensive end 
right? But what you could do is you could man your slot corner up and drop your defensive end into a hard flat if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend that, but you could do that. Um, but what I like, I think it's easiest and most effective for the totality of the defense. If we take this middle linebacker, and we man him up on R1, either one of them, it doesn't matter. Um, I personally think it's much more effective to use the left side linebacker just for run defense purposes, um, and then to drop that three red hook over the middle. Now, if you don't wanna drop the three red hook over the middle, then drop him into a hard flat, that's fine as well. You're gonna find that the three rec, in my opinion, will do a little bit better job against like slants and stuff, but as you see, I mean, the pressure's super insane. And so what that pressure is gonna do is it's gonna force them to block the running back, which is gonna make this coverage even better. I want to thank you for watching this video. And also, if you want to get my nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, my Giants defensive ebook, we actually threw in a, a bonus big nickel uh, little mini guide as well within that. Um, but that defense, literally, the pressure is unreal that you're going to be able to generate and create from 335 odd, especially against the Gun Bunch meta. So if you want to get some more consistent stops, be able to send some heavy pressure at your opponent, I'd encourage you to get that defensive guide. It's on sale for just 15 bucks so super affordable early in the year for a defense i would encourage you to pick it up a lot of people that have picked up picked up the guide already have just kind of sent me some messages and said how successful it has been for them in terms of giving them an opportunity where in a game where it's very difficult to get stops this defense can give you at least one to two turnovers or stops a game in my opinion so i would encourage you to get the defensive guide there's a link in the description if you want to get it and again all you gotta do is click that link it'll take you right over to the website and you'll be able to get it all squared away thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys in our next video